This is the entrance to the United States National Cemetery here in Vicksburg, Mississippi, established in 1866 for soldiers who were killed within a 50 mile radius of the city of Vicksburg. My name is David Maggio. I'm one of the guides in the Vicksburg National Military Park. One of the features that I personally like about becoming a guide and being a guide is the many stories that you learn and the many facts that you learn about the park. Behind me is the naval ironclad, the USS Cairo, named after Cairo, Illinois, one of seven city-class ironclads that were built to control the Mississippi River. An underwater floating mine blows this massive hole in the side of the ship and it sinks in 36 feet of water in 12 minutes. 170 men aboard the ship and all 170 get off without anybody being severely hurt. In this cemetery, there are over 17,000 soldiers buried here from the United States Civil War. Over 13,000, three quarters of those soldiers are unknown soldiers. This cemetery, when it was established, paid 50 cents for the body of every Union soldier that was brought here to be buried in this cemetery. This is the largest United States National Cemetery dedicated to Union soldiers killed during the American Civil War. This is the Illinois Monument. This monument is one quarter of the size of the Pantheon in Rome, so you get that same reverberation. Hello! I've had choirs coming in here. In this room, with this echo in you here, it is the type of thing that gives you goosebumps. There are a number of stories that I hear in the Vicksburg Military Park. One of the most interesting is a gentleman by the name of Albert D.J. Cashier. He fought here in Vicksburg. When he's hurt in an accident, do they realize that Albert is actually a woman, making him one of the only few people in the country to serve as a woman during the American Civil War. Over on the South Loop, there's a gentleman there, his name is Peter Haynes. He was a lieutenant here in Vicksburg. He fought here during the campaign. In 1917, he's called back to active duty. This makes him the only man in the United States to serve as an officer during the Civil War and during the First World War. This is one of the many stories that you'll see of the individuals that fought here during the campaign and the battle for Vicksburg. So come and see us and enjoy the Vicksburg National Military Park.